Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Shadow aka the Frozen Shadow Collector. Welcome to another Disney related video on my channel. So, for today's video guys, we are going to be unboxing, reviewing the 25th anniversary doll Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. So, I believe in the UK she's still not released yet. I'm pretty sure she comes out around the 18th. In the US, she's been out. She's sold out already online. So, yeah. Sorry to the UK people, but you'll get her soon enough, hopefully with ease and no bot issues. Only time will tell, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is what we're going to be doing today. If you guys are excited for that, be sure to hit that thumbs up down below. Hit that sub button for more Disney content in the future or content like this in the future. And without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. Alright, here we go. As you can see before you, we got Esmeralda. She looks absolutely gorgeous in person, guys. Honestly, I don't know what. The Disney photographers are doing but in person she looks absolutely gorgeous she looks so beautiful inside a box right here I am going to show her in various ways so that if you are looking to buy her like on the aftermarket or something you'll know what you'll be getting into honestly in person she looks absolutely gorgeous at least to me uh, for those of you who do have her you can let me know what you think of her down below but for me, she looks absolutely gorgeous. She's definitely better than the stock photos. She is a limited edition of 7,000 worldwide. They made her edition size pretty large. And rumor has it, Alice in Wonderland's edition size is going to be around that also. So if they make these edition size this large, I will be super happy. Because this way, actual collectors will be able to get their hands on them. And not people who just like to resell them on eBay within five minutes even though they don't have their hands on them <laughs> but yeah she does come with a certificate of authenticity she is a collector's item so this is made for collectors and people who like to debox like me who are also collectors but you know is what is like collectors a collector fight me <laughs> she is fully posable and from what I can see on Instagram she does have molded feet we are going to get a good look at that later on in the video but she does have molded feet and she does have articulated joints that allow her to sit better so it's gonna be interesting to see how that looks later on in the video she has a bunch of gold embroidery as you can see right here all around her we got the chains down here with uh I don't know what that is like some jewelry type thing right there it looks pretty good, in my opinion. Honestly, I can't wait to get her out of the box. But before we do that, I'm going to turn around so you can see the back of the box. And so, for those of you who like to read that stuff, you can. And let's hop right into that. Alright, here we go. So here's the back of the box. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to take this ribbon off real quick so you can actually see it. But here you go. For those of you who like to read this stuff, there you go. Should be clear enough for you to read. Just uh, pause it right there and read it amongst yourself. But yes, this is the back of the box. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, Disney Store did a fantastic job with this box. In my personal opinion, I think the design of the box is spectacular. And of course, the thing that I always love is that since this is one of the most recent dolls, it does come with a strap on top, which I absolutely love. I'll show that real quick. Here you are, and of course on top it says The Hunchback of Notre Dame, just to specify what movie it's from. And, yeah, she does come with her own display stand. Honestly, I can't wait to jump in this. As you can see, there's like sun and moon designs all around her. It's kind of like gypsy type theme from the movie, you know, since there's a bunch of gypsies around. And I love how the box design is like based around a carnival, because like that's kind of how the gypsy life was, like kind of like, I don't want to say clown, but like more like a circus theme in a way. At least I think so. <laughs> but yeah, this is the box. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Let's get into showing her without the actual outer box so you know what she looks like. Since I know there's people that like to have the actual back end of the outer box on and display it without this front shell. Here you go. This is for you guys. Honestly, she looks absolutely spectacular. So if you do want to display it like this, is 100% a go in my opinion honestly the plastic window frame it looks absolutely gorgeous the scenery in the background Disney Store did a phenomenal job with that in my opinion at least so yeah if you want to display it like this this is a good option to do so in my opinion and as you can see here it does say 
the 25th anniversary. It's a little sticker on the window frame. So it's always nice that it has that. So I'm going to take the back of the box off and I'm going to take the window frame off. So for those of you who like to display it without those stuff, you can see it that way. And here you are, Esmeralda without the box frame itself, without the window frame too. So yeah, this is what she's going to be looking like if you want to take all that off and you want to display it like this. Honestly, this is a good option too, but you are going to have to worry about dust. So every now and then you're going to have to dust it off with like a paintbrush or anything, maybe like a little cloth. Like anything works really as long as it's like soft and doesn't create tears and whatnot. So yeah, this is what she looks like without all of that outer coverings. And honestly, she looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. I know a lot of people have a problem with the face face mold and how this is metallic printed rather than embroidery, but it is what it is. Honestly, I'm okay with it. I know there are people out there who would spend more money just to get embroidery back, or at least more of it. <laughs> but honestly, I'm okay with this. So yeah, I'm going to debox it. I'm going to time lapse it for you guys so you don't have to sit through it. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Alright, here we go. So, as you can see, Esmeralda is officially out of a box. I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. Of course, here's my certificate of authenticity. I have number 1631 out of 7,000. For those who are curious, I don't really care about the date that much. Unless it's like, I don't know, a cool date that represents either when the doll released or, I don't know, something important. <laughs> but yeah, this is her outside the box, guys. I decided to put the box frame and the window right behind her so she pops out more and here she is guys let me know what you think um to me honestly she looks absolutely gorgeous we got this gorgeous purple ribbon right here coming out of her hair her hair does have gel in it so it is a little awkward in my opinion so maybe sometime down the road if i learn how to handle doll's hair well, I might wash it and do my own thing with it. But as of right now, we're just going to leave it like this. Maybe down the road I'll fix it. We'll see. I decided to pose her up to make it more interesting. <laughs> Honestly, in person, she looks gorgeous, guys. I, I'm not going to lie. She looks absolutely spectacular. For those of you who got her, congratulations. Honestly, to me, she's 1% she's worth the money. So a uh, nice little close-up of her. As you see, we got a nice makeup of here. It's not too intense, so it's nice and natural. We got rooted eyelashes up here. Got some nice eyebrows right there. Honestly, I kind of wish they were a little thinner, the eyebrows, but it's no big deal. And then, of course, we've got gel hair, and then we got this ribbon that she has in the movie. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And then right here, we got her little gold chain necklace. I think it's just made of metallic gold. It doesn't really say it on a detail, so I'm assuming it's just going to be metallic gold. That's usually what these things are made of. And then, of course, if we go closer up here, we can see some nice embroidery right here on top of this. I honestly don't know what to call this. <laughs> I guess um, it's not a collar, but it's like chest collar maybe i don't know <laughs> it's like the top layer of the of the shirt itself and then we go a little more down and we got actual embroidery going down here down her shirt i'll move this so you can see 
So yeah, it is actually going down right here. And then we got the actual, I don't know what to call this. I want to call this a rag, I guess. It has some metallic gold or it's painted gold. And it's like going all the way down and around right here. It's got a nice design on it too. We turn around a little bit so we can see it. There we go. Got some nice pattern right here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Down here we got some flower stuff. Honestly, to me, she looks absolutely gorgeous. And then on here we got some pattern. I think this is printed on. It looks like it's printed on. I know this is like the part where people are saying that she's made of cheap material, but I think for the purpose of this doll, it works. That's just my opinion anyway. You guys can let me know what you think down below. And then down here, we got some actual rhinestones, or rhinestones. And uh, actually on the details, they don't even call it rhinestones. They just call it jewelry, which is weird. <laughs> so yeah, we got that there. And then down here, we got the infamous metallic print on here. So this is what people don't like, the fact that this is metallic print rather than embroidery. But honestly, I'm not, I'm not that upset about it. I think it looks good for her. And of course, there's some jumps in there also. So yeah, she does look very good, guys. She does, in my opinion, at least. I mean, this pattern goes all around her dress. I'll turn around so you can see it. Yeah, it goes all the way around. And then we got rhinestones all the way around. And what someone has pointed out in the Facebook group is that if you look underneath here, they don't have rhinestones there. <laughs> so yeah, this little uh, scarf or whatever it's called, it's kind of uh, covering that. <laughs> and it's kind of noticeable too if you turn around and that's kind of empty. It is what it is. <laughs> if we're being completely honest. It is what it is. <laughs> to me, she looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm absolutely in love with this doll. I, I really am. I, I know it could be better, and honestly, I don't really care. Because the odds of Disney doing another Esmeralda is like a long shot. So, if this is as good as we're going to get with her, I'm fine with it. I will take it. <laughs> just, just my opinion. Alright, so now if we go underneath here, it's a doll, guys, so uh, get over it. But um, down here, we do got that nice little detail right here with the uh, rings around her ankle. And these are new molded feet, guys. So this is fresh new. Honestly, those look absolutely amazing. That's a nice mold, in my opinion. And then up here, this allows her to sit better, these joints right here. So yeah, she can sit down a lot easier. I will probably show that before this video ends. So you can see it for yourself. But yes, this is Esmeralda, guys. This is 2021, 25th anniversary edition Esmeralda. She looks absolutely gorgeous, in my opinion. I absolutely love this doll. I am 100% happy with this purchase. To me, this is well worth the money. You guys can let me know what you think. And of course, I forgot to mention, we got this tambourine here. That is specifically sculpted for this doll. So this is brand sprinkling new. So they did have to spend some money to make it. <laughs> Just saying. And uh, yeah, she looks absolutely gorgeous. And here's Esmeralda sitting out. Like I said, those joints make it easier for it to sit. And yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button and hit that sub button for more content in the future. But that's going to do it for me. I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing review. And I'll see you all next time.